Liverpool versus everybody. Um, <clears throat> game set match. Whole City 2. Uh, Liverpool Football Club. A big fat donut. Glazed if you like. Chocolate. Sprinkles on top. Um, Whole City. Um, you know, they did what they had to do at home. Um, capitalize on set pieces. Capitalize on counterattacks. Um, probably could have had at least one other goal. Um, you know, it's beyond frustrating, beyond unacceptable, uh, beyond hurtful. Uh, I mean, this, I'm really sad because I feel like even going to this game, and I've always said it, these are the teams that I'm, I'm more concerned about. Not Chelsea, not Tottenham, not Spurs, not Arsenal, none of those teams because we always play well against them. And I get it, they, they play open football, but it's not enough to continue to use that as an excuse. Um, we know teams are going to play like this, especially a team like Hull, even with this new manager, and yet we still can't come up with a way to break it down. Uh, and that's just frustrating. And, and um, you know, the, the starting lineup was just, I, I, again, he, he, Klopp, you know, as much as I love him, he's got to come in for a little bit of criticism. Um, you know, there's no way in the world you sit Genie and then not even feature him after a well, a well, a well out performance that he played against Chelsea. And even minus the goal, even if he didn't score a goal, which I'm glad he did, but he played a really good game. And not to feature him in this game is just beyond strange to me. Not sure why Lucas is continuing to, you know, give give Klopp some confidence to put him in there. Really don't understand that. Um, you got Klopp for a reason. Uh, I know Lovren's hurt. Um, even Gomez on the bench. I think if you look at both of their, their performances over the season, I know Gomez played in cut matches or whatever, but I think he's ready to come in. I think he's been ready to come in. And um, this is a moment where you could have won for Klavin or him. Lucas, don't understand that. Um, you know, whether both of those situations are the reason why we lost or not, um, you know, it definitely didn't help that we didn't have those guys in. Um, and yet again, I, I, you know, and Klopp gets paid money. And he's a good manager. I love him. And I'm going to continue to support him. Um, like he said, he's going to take at least one one more year, two. I think he said three-year plan or something. I don't know. But this year ain't the year for us to win the league. I think we can see that. Top four should be there. We'll see what Liverpool does. Um, I don't understand why Coutinho is not taking every corner. Left side, right side, I don't care. He should always be taking the corner kicks. I don't get that. We had 13 or 14 corner kicks and, and get, got nothing from them. And a lot of that has to do with hole. They, they, they did really good at man marking. They did. Um, lots of handballs that weren't called. Uh, at the end of the day, I can't, I can't really blame anybody else but Liverpool, though. Um, all of that excitement and, and fluidity that we, that we had early in the season, it's just dead. And maybe that's to, to fatigue, maybe, I guess. I don't know. But sometimes you got to just f figure out how to just will games out, man. And, again, you know, I, someone left a comment on another channel. I think it might have been Redman TV. Um, and I think he was a, a supporter of another team, but what he said was right, and I hate to agree with it, but Klopp is really just paping over the cracks with this squad. I mean, we have no left back for real, not a true left back. Um, the, the, the center back situation has been scary to, at best. Uh, I think Matip has obviously been the, the highlight of, of that position. Um, in the midfield, that's a midfield that in, in another team, you know, with another manager probably wouldn't be doing much. We had some nice moments early in the season in some games, but... You now this team needs to be fixed. We need some depth, and again, it'll take another year or two to get where we need to get to. Um, if we would have won the league this year, that it probably would have been the best thing ever in history with a team like this. Let's just be honest. Um, and so, you know, we've been getting by um, for an extent, but but that, you can't just get by in this league, especially in these last few months. We got Mane back. All of you wanted him back. I kept saying that was not the reason why we were losing. We got to fit figure out how to win these games. Um, so uh, it's, there's no excuses. There's no excuses. Um, hats off the whole city, though. They did what they had to do. And, um, you know, we're, we're back to, to crawling up. Um, it's an upward, upward battle now. Uh, who knows what's going to happen in City game? Uh, Swansea City's been doing really well. Man City, I don't know what's going to happen with that. Tottenham's on right now. Um, we control our own destiny, though. Uh, this is a, a beyond a disappointment and embarrassment if we can't get top four this year. So back to the drawing table. We got Tottenham coming up. You know, I, I don't worry about them because I feel like we'll play really well, of course. We'll come out and, and, and do a good job and play good and probably win the game. Um, but these games really, really hurt. Um, it's unnecessary. So try to enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, we all know this one is tough to take, but uh, we got to bounce back, and that's all we can do. Keep supporting the team. Um, keep trying to be optimistic, even though our team doesn't give us much to be optimistic about these days. Uh, we'll keep fighting, and um, we'll finish top four. We'll finish top four. I believe that. Um, we just gotta, we gotta, we gotta figure out how to get get points when we can get points on these certain, in these particular games. So that's it for me. Till next time.